I'm terribly sorry this relationship had to end, but I'm thankful to know the truth. I never knew you were a hollow. Please, do not try to look for me or I will disgrace you. Goodbye and keep being the bad girl you are. What's going on? Where did I go wrong? Mm. So your boyfriend wrote you a love letter and you are crying. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How's everyone doing? Today I have a regular on my channel again. I'm a reg they don't see me finish. <laughs> For today's video, I know this is coming a bit late, but we wanted to recreate some um like iconic Nolly Babe looks. And Nolly Babes are um some actresses that were that were really prominent in um Nollywood, that's the Nigerian movie industry. Yeah, between nineteen between nineteen ninety 1990s like to like 2005. 2005. So we want to recreate some of their looks because their looks are like super iconic. So Nolly Babes always had like real high up brows. So I'm actually going to be using this Gorilla Snot and I just dip my spoolie inside and I'm going to brush some of her brows so that they stay in place and I can conceal over them. So we'll just leave it on for like a minute so they can dry up. So now I'm just going in with color corrector so that her real brows are not obvious. So now I'm just going to use concealer and go over that so I can start drawing her new brows. Who was your favorite Nolly babe? Uh, you normal Genevieve Naji, Mr. Dominic, Guinea Do, Yokoe, yeah, those girls. But I think like my all time, like when it comes to looking like a Nolly babe, like. She could never act like a, a movie today, and I would not be surprised. Was that you, Keria Lady? Oh my god! So, this is what we have so far. Ofe looks cute. Next, I'm going to just go in foundation and try and um, cover the brows one last time, and then this foundation is all going to be for her full face. So, Ofe, what's your idea of a typical Nolly baby look? Sassy, bougie. <laughs> no, but literally, all of them were. I feel like all Nolly babes at times they just had guns in their handbag, you know, like for anything, or anything, anything fear for any given moment. Oh, they used to wear like skimpy clothes, but it's not even like nowadays skimpy that was hot, it was just like unnecessarily, unnecessarily skimpy. skimpy. Like the shirt would only have a front part, and then it would be ropes holding together at the back. You wear um, those um, bell trousers, palazzos, and stuff like that. <laughs> The brows were always so dark, so I'm just trying to see it in. What would you say is a typical early 2000 Hollywood plot? Hmm. University setting. There's a village boy and there's a very rich boy and there's a very desirable girl. Jimike is the rich boy and also Diobi is the poor boy and the girl is Stephanie Mokereke who is as far as I said too tall for either of them. But somehow somehow Jimike has been chasing her, chasing her, chasing her and then Nonso because he's naive and foolish and kind at heart she now loves him and then there's a big fight but somehow Nonso comes. Guys are like Bollywood. Indian movies, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> there was a like universal eyeshadow look for most of them. Dark crease and then a shimmer color. So the shimmer could be any color, it could be blue shimmer, green shimmer, but the most common, most popular was gold. I want to do the, a very popular Nolly Bay look today. And if they could help it, they would make it like a glossy eye look. So I will try and do a glossy gold I look for this Nolly Babe right here. So now that we have our black babe, we're going to use our gold. Very excited. No. <laughs> so I just finished adding on some lip gloss after putting it on. And this is the glossy Nolly Babe. In this life, you reap what you sow. For some reason, they didn't really need to do eyeliner and they didn't also um, used to fix lashes so we just use mascara but they did use to line the bottom of their eyes they were actually always very black so i will line the bottom of her eyes you want to make sure it's very dark because if you don't make it dark how would they know that you are a killer i don't 
don't think contour had really come at that time but they did used to actually highlight or only underneath their eyes really so i'm just using powder to you know go around her face so that she doesn't look too oily because with only girls only eyes and lips are glossy the rest of the face is matte with every nolly babe, apart from her eyes, another, another really defining thing is her lips. For light skinned lids, they always have sharp lips. You hardly ever see a light skinned lid with nude lips. It's usually the dark girls that have more nude looking lips. So I'm going to start by lining with this brown pen too. It's pretty dark. So, because you know, they never really blend their lips, they just line and then put the color in the middle. So now I joined it with the brown and I'm going to with this um, dark red just directly beneath her um, the brown. Okay. She like the way <laughs> so I'm going to put some gloss on her lips because I told you not only babes, their lips and their eyes. Give me all your money, girls. For dark skinned Nollywood babes, the difference wasn't that much because they still had the same shimmery eyeshadow. The only difference was that they didn't really use as um, sharp colored lips. Like for darker models, they actually had this metallic type lip going on for them. So, let's say, what do you think was a typical? Nollywood plot in your opinion? Well, the president, governor or senator's daughter was going to Unilag <laughs> and she went there, she was one of the people that had, you know, 504 Peugeot she was driving, you know, she used to smoke mm -hmm. and, you know, the boys were trying to get to her, maybe a cult boy but she ended up liking a school nerd and the girl was always either Genevieve or Amy Edo and she will now maybe, maybe they will now start doing runs with her because she will be them up with her father's friends so what films are you watching? <laughs> I used to watch a lot so for Etsy I'm not really doing much of an eye look I'm actually just going to um, contour over her eyes so that they are basically the same color of the rest of her skin with um, highlights just underneath her brow I'm going to put um, a golden color because this will do that a lot too not leave this will really highlight underneath their brows and then I'll do a little eyeliner on the top then I'll go a bit heavy on her bottom too so let's say who are some of the hottest Nollywood boys at that time? um for well, American accent <laughs> Jimai Emekai K for Unilag Lagos boy, um, Muna, I don't know, remember his surname. Or BH or something. Yeah. Um, I liked him with Genevieve because they acted one, he lives in it together, and they also acted one village movie together. <laughs> and Genevieve was my favorite actress. Then they brought Majid in a bit late, but he was he was still in the era. And I love Majid. So, yeah. So, do you have any? Particular favorite look, any particular favorite like lolly look that's like you don't always wear. Yes, uh, um, aside village looks, I love village too. There was this movie Genevieve acted. Um, hey Jesus, name I just keep my mind for better for worse. Go and watch it. <laughs> it was Genevieve and Emeka Ike, but it's not even the ha it was part two when she supposedly went to America. And she came back and she was coming out from the plane. She had one short skirt wash with one nice rope rope top with boots, knee high boots, with glasses, nice high shadow. Like, <laughs> she looked nice. Go and watch it. Who were the other people who don't have like great chemistry on screen? So, like Damascus and RMT. Emeka Ike oh, yeah. and Stephanie Okereke. Oh my god, yeah, Emeka Ike and Stephanie Okereke. If you are familiar with um, Lolly Babes, then you know that the dark um, actresses always have a lot of blush. So, I'm going to um, replicate that here too. So, Essay, what was the most ridiculous 
seen that you ever seen in Hollywood movie? What was it? Um, I guess it has to be the one where <clears throat> I think the guy was cheating on her and then she wanted to kill him. So she put poison in his food, stirred it and then tasted it. <laughs> okay guys, so we actually worked on the brows and thinned them out a bit more and then we actually decided to go with the eyeshadow. So we put some gold eyeshadow um, at the front of the lid and then towards the outside we put some dark blue to give us that smoky Molly baby look. I really like Essie's lips with a dark brown which was characteristic of most of them. You know that they go really heavy on lip gloss and today is my exception. Are you excited? Are you really excited? A bit. <laughs> Smack Essie. Bye! Comment under. Oh, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. No, we've done it. <laughs>